Back at the James Swanson show. Uh, me and Woody just kicking it. We got sent a message on Instagram on the Looking Boy Challenge. So, we can't deny a challenge. And what we're going to do is, we're going to do a Looking Boy Challenge on the James Swanson show. Me and Woody kicking it. Y'all ready? Big hair looking boy, fish looking boy, two foot six looking boy, boy looking man looking boy, bet 20, bet 20, you can't count to 40 looking boy. You lost a good boy, stupid looking boy, should have stayed in school looking boy, need to get some help looking boy, never gonna know you 40 looking boy. White looking boy, own looking boy, love that bitch that hurt looking boy, rolling down the hill looking boy, did it to yourself looking boy. Concussion looking boy, broken leg looking boy, going out on a stretch looking boy. Hope you got Aflac black looking boy. Notice you didn't see no black looking boy. Jail tag looking boy, go teeth looking boy. Don't procreate looking boy. A literal boy, can't read it, boy. Yo, mama should be ashamed of you, looking boy. High trail looking boy, rich looking looking boy, unhealthy white looking boy. Got a problem, looking boy. We have looking boy. You high off thinking, looking boy. Catch your eyes, looking boy. About to die, looking boy. Hard drive in your future, looking boy. Oh. I did that shit. As you can see, the James Swanson show has came unhinged. James Swanson rapping, we're going to talk about that in a little bit, me and Woody. But we got this next video, which is a twerking contest. And you know how much I love a twerking contest. So let's cut to this video because I need some twerk in my life. Okay, I just want to say that shit was twerking gone wrong. It's only like one thing that was good about that video. The chick on the right, she never turned around to show what the fuck she looked like so anybody could identify her untwerking ass. As far as the chick on the left, bitch, that was a disrespect to twerking. The only way that you should be allowed to twerk like that is if like three years ago, you was in an accident that paralyzed you from the neck down. And then you worked for the rest of your three years to get to this motherfucking video so you could actually have a seizure on fucking camera in front of the whole world, goddammit. Because that's what that shit was. It looked epileptic, not Epic. Stop that shit. And I can't even let the Latinos go out like that. Because Latinos, they know how to shake some ass. I'm a witness. 
I've paid enough money to see these shaking asses. So all I'm saying, I can't let them go out like this. Kick it to this video and show them some real twerking. That, my friends, is what you call precision twerking. That twerking right there has fucked up many of relationships. Fucked up many a bank account. Motherfucker have not went home. Fucked up curfew. Lost his whole entire life over twerking like that. That, my friends, woo! Reminds me of an old saying, I'd pay a dollar for that, and I'm out. Okay, so we about to close the James Swanson show out on one of the most disgusting videos i ever seen in my life. I am so embarrassed that a black man is part of this shit. I would literally like to kill the cameraman for publicizing this dirty, filthy mistake, but we got to talk about this shit on the James Swanson Show. Check this video out. What the fuck? I do not normally say this on camera, but nigga! Nigga! Okay, I'm gonna break this shit down. Just because it's 300 sheets and a motherfucking roll of toilet paper don't mean that you get 300 wipes, nigga. And if you wiping your ass one sheet at a time, the way you just told me to do that shit. You might be saving money on toilet paper, but you're going to spend that shit double again on antibacterial because you fucking disgusting. And this is what I want to know. Did you really just tell your parents, your wife, nigga, you got a wedding ring. You just told your wife, your kids, your entire family. Fuck that. The entire world that every day, 365 days out of the year, you digging your ass with your index finger. How many germs are you spreading every day? If it's one out of 10 of motherfuckers running around like you, we got a serious epidemic going on. You motherfuckers need to be, ooh, exterminated. Ooh. I, ooh. Whew. 
The germs that y'all just thought about. I hope that your boss see you doing this shit so he can fire your motherfucking ass exactly the day that you come in after you told the whole entire world that you digging your ass with your index finger. I'm probably going to repeat that one more time. This nigga, he got to be like 56 years old. He has been digging in his ass at least 10 years. That is 365,000 days that this germy motherfucker has spread germs on something. He probably work around food or in the medical industry, somewhere where he shouldn't be allowed to work. Tell somebody about this motherfucker, man. Damn. I'm exhausted from talking about germs. I'll see you next week on the James Watson Show. Hopefully, you won't be germified. Hopefully, you won't catch whatever this nigga is spreading out this world. I wish I could find his address so I could send it to everybody in the world, goddammit. Because that shit is disgusting. James Watson Show. Me and Woody, fifth episode.